This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Jack Threads. Wouldn't be a hacker con without j 0 N Y. How are you, Johnny? Good. Good to see you. Okay, back at the book, Hackers for Charity, because I'm sure everybody is very familiar with it, but for those that just tuned into Hack 5 or the whole hacking scene in general, what's Hackers for Charity? Well, we're a group that's uh, basically a charity for hackers. We've done a lot of things in the past, helping out groups like the Red Cross and, you know, different organizations, and a lot of people in the hacker community are really into that. They give, you know, of themselves and their time. Um, but basically, we put together an organization that is based around the hacker community to give of our time and skills and kind of change the, change the bad image that hackers have and do some good with it. So. Nice. So last we spoke at uh, DerbyCon, uh, there was some stuff up in the air about the training center that you guys have in Uganda, uh, teaching IT skills to the locals. How has that changed? Uh, we went through a really bad uh, financial time where uh, we just didn't have the money, donations were kind of down, we didn't know what we were going to do with that training center. And uh, so basically I, you know, Twittered it and, you know, got on Facebook and I was like, guys, I think we're going to have to close this center. Well, within a week, we had enough funding to run that thing for about six months, coming, money coming right from the hacker community. They're like, no, don't close this thing. We're going to pay for it. So since basically since October, the training center in Uganda has been funded 100% from the hacking community. So hackers have put money into that thing. And uh, it's been exciting seeing that. Uh, we've had 250 people trained in computer classes since October, and it's been like 3,400 hours worth of computer training. You know, to people who normally wouldn't be able to afford it, we're seeing people get jobs, and all that's coming from the hacker community. It's really exciting. So, so if you're in Uganda and you come across the, the community center, how do you get like training and uh, how, what is it like for the participant? Well, basically, there's, there's two ways that you can come in. You can come in as a customer, which you say, okay, I want to I pay a little bit. You know, it's, it's like 75 cents an hour to take computer training. That's one option. The other option is you can come in and you can basically be on a scholarship program that uh, if you're working with a nonprofit in Uganda and you're volunteering or working with them, you're in for free. Now that leaves a group of people who don't have the money and aren't working with a nonprofit. The third option is you come in, you say, I wanna be on your scholarship and we give you a list of nonprofits that would like you to take some time and volunteer. You go there, you volunteer with them, and you come back with a letter that says you volunteered and you get free training. So that way you don't just have people showing up and sitting in seats, they're actually giving back to the community. That is so awesome. Now, as far as uh, uh, bringing more computer training to the community, you guys are deploying some crazy, awesome touch screen. What, what, explain it to me. Okay. So for a long time, what we tried to do is we tried to get everybody's excess gear that was in the community and just kind of bring it to Uganda. Yeah, that didn't work out so well, did it? it? Fail. Epic fail. Absolutely. Um, you know, we paid bribes. We had shipping problems. We had stuff. We had one shipment completely disappear. We, we were losing money right and left, and we said, this isn't working. So we shelved it for a little while, and, and eventually a solution came along. We have these very cool uh, little, very small footprint machines that we found available in Uganda. A giant telco, Orange, brought these things in for high-end consumers all over the continent. They're well out of the price range of Ugandans, but they're around. They run Ubuntu Linux, but when they shipped, they shipped without a root password, or rather a locked root password. Even the technicians didn't have the root password. The customers didn't have the root password. So you have Ubuntu fully open, yeah. and you can't install can't anything. anything. Right. So the technicians, one of the technicians in, in Jinja called me up and said, our customers are hating this thing. Can you unlock it? And I thought, yes, we can totally do that. So I popped root on it, started installing applications. It was like, oh, this is great. And I realized there were other problems with the build just reloaded it, you know, put a new version of Ubuntu on there, you know, unlock the root password, loaded up all sorts of educational software on there, copy of Wikipedia, Khan Academy stuff, books from Project Gutenberg, 160 gig drive on this thing, we filled it up with training software, made it like our training center in a one little box. And I said, this would be a great way to start seeding community centers like ours in schools around the area. The cool thing is, this is available in Uganda with no shipping for 400 bucks. It's got an integrated webcam, Wi-Fi, 3G, comes with a month of free internet. What I want to do is get people to buy these things, donate 400 bucks, 
switch on that internet and that webcam and let the donors look out of the webcam and see this thing in action. That's our goal. That's what we want to try to do with this. That's awesome. So where can people find out about uh, getting involved with that and uh, watch the deployment? Because it sounds like that's something achievable for that hacker space to be like, we're sponsoring that unit. It's going to that village. It's providing this service. Absolutely. We're, we're incredibly close. Just keep an eye on the website. Um, the last mile that we have to come up with is a, is a reasonably secure way of getting access to that webcam without opening it to abuse. So I think within the community, we're going to be able to do that pretty well. Um, once we get that figured out, we're probably looking at about a month's time. We're going to have a link on the website, and it'll just be like, click here, donate your money, and it's going to be that easy. You know. That is so cool. Like maybe a little Google Map integration. See, so like, oh, hey, look, yeah. there's my unit. Anyway, we want it to be slick. Yeah. So, yeah. That's awesome, Johnny. It's always a pleasure catching up. You guys are doing great work. Yeah. Of you course, guys from too, man. Well, the stuff that you rolled out at the conference today, I'm blown away. The new <laughs> pineapple rocks. So, make them more. Get them thanks, over thanks, here. Thanks. I uh, love hearing that. We'll have to drop ship some to Uganda. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, uh, good ones. Oh, ooh, ooh. It'll, anyway, yeah. uh, crazy. Things are spinning in my head. Uh, of course, go ahead and head over to hackersforcharity.com, right? Dot org? Dot org, dot com, you name it. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you guys so much. Only suckers pay full price, but if you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hey, wasting all your cash on them, listen up because you can score these premium brands up to 80% off every day. You see, there's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, surfing up skates, street, surfwear brands at prices that'll melt your brain. And there's usually a waiting list to join, but if you head over to jackthreads.com slash hack5, you're gonna get an instant access to their killer hookups. So go on over now. Oh, and did we mention that it's free to join? That's right, hit up jackthreads.com slash hack5, and you'll instantly start saving without even to leave your house. No fireball in the sky that burns like the lava in Metroid. It'll just be like, boom, savings right there, where you are. Time once again for the Technolist Photo of the Week, Shannon. Bold Kevin sends us a photo and he says, I'm sporting the evil server, the battle pineapple, and the pirate monkey stickers on my snowboard at Cypress Mountain in West Vancouver, Canada. Love the show. That's awesome. You know, when I was little, I used to snowboard a lot mm -hmm. off of this little church mountain and I like built my snowboard. own ramp. Yeah. Totally. When I was in like eighth grade and ninth grade and stuff like that, oh yeah, I was totally into it. But I never did any cool tricks except for go off this teeny tiny ramp that I'd built myself. It was really cool. I would love to go there, go to mountain. So, and like, so what you're saying is that for the next slopes. Photoshop contest, we need a snowboarding snubs doing a kick you flip. You your Photoshop burial, contest, God. Grind rail. We haven't gotten any mermaid pictures yet. So no, we haven't. Okay. No, well, we're yet. also a week ahead of release, so it actually yeah. just came out today. Yes, so, that is know. true. We're in the future. It's what we do. Let's find out about the trivia, because I, I am a big fan of the trivia. It's one of my favorite mainstays of Hack 5. <laughs> Should almost have its own show. Hmm. Ooh, a gaming show? OK. Keep going. So last week's trivia question was, according to AMD, what does the abbreviation APU stand for? And the answer was accelerated processing unit. Hmm. <laughs> nothing. God. Nothing. He is so messed up. Honestly, every time the you word just, unit. <laughs> it's a great word. Actually, my favorite thing is talking to like vendors overseas and stuff, and it's always like everything is the unit. <laughs> it's just so great. It's so great. <laughs> when will the unit clear customs? Uh, anyway. Can I continue with the trivia? Yes, let's find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this week's trivia question is. What term defines video transmitted by scanning odd numbered lines in one frame and even lines in the I next? Know this one. It's this thing that Paul and I hate. Oh. And I don't know why it's part of the <laughs> 1080 stuff anyway. Let's just answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some awesome swag. Nice. Yeah. All right. I agree. What do we do now? Forget. We wrap it up. Oh, well, we'll see you guys <laughs> next week. It'll be. You can then, always support the show by binary. subscribing on iTunes and YouTube. You can get all the information about where to subscribe and where to follow us at hack5.org slash follow, I think it is. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> 
And you can also get awesome Hack 5 goodies like Dual Core and Dale Chase's awesome rap CDs, which are still oh, yeah. in the store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. to get those. Those it's are over stuff. at HAKShop.com. You know, Adi has a new album coming out at DEF CON. Oh, that's right. I'm yeah. so excited. I can't I wait to good. hear it. It's going to yeah, be good. I heard a couple of things at uh, Shmoopon. Yes. At the, at the show. You can also uh, check out our hack tips. Those come on every other Friday. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I mean, unless uh, a packet hits a pocket on a socket on a port and the bus is interrupted as a very last resort and an address of the memory that makes your floppy disk abort, then the socket packet pocket has an error to report. We'll have links in the show notes for all that. I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. <laughs> Trust your technolist. If you're a person. Oh shit. If your cursor finds a menu item followed by a dash is, and the double clicking icon puts your window in the trash and your data is corrupted because the index doesn't hash, then your situation's hopeless and your system's gonna crash. Uh, um. <laughs> that was the worst A block ever. How come like <laughs> Shannon's got a medium shot and I've got like a close up? But enjoy it, because it's the only one we're shooting. I don't know. Because nobody wants to see the rest of that. Because I have a dentist appointment. So that's more than you need to know. Want a, want a wider <laughs> shot? Wider. Yeah, boom, there we go. I don't feel as I am reaching deeply into your soul. I'm stealing your packets. Come to me, packets. Come to Hack 5. And now Paul's gonna make the camera really? go. Really? It was woo. bad? No, no, it's good. I'll make the camera go. Make the woo. There we go. Fade to black. Ah, you just miss it. Now they're all. <laughs>